Today we're taking a look at software update 2022.44.25.1 just came to my car. I am seeing updates that there is the dot two and dot three that is hitting people's car. It's probably all about the same though. So you're gonna pretty much, no matter what update you get, gonna get the same things. But the first thing on the list is Apple Music. So now to get to Apple Music, what you're gonna do is come down here into your menu. So you got all your items here. You're gonna go into streaming or really open up anything and you're gonna tap your down arrow and you're gonna see Apple Music is now included. We tap Apple Music. It wants us to log into our account. I'm gonna log into the account. I'm gonna click allow. You've successfully signed in using your Apple ID. Your car will refresh to continue. Now you do need to have the data plan with your car in order to actually use this when you're not on Wi-Fi. Let's reload it here. There we go. And now we have our Apple Music play some Christmas scroll right through some Michael Buble you got your library right here so now we have Apple music synced into the car you can come down here in the menu and you see Apple music here if you want you can click on this and you can even drag it down in here if this is what you're gonna use in place of streaming or some other method but now that's how you get to your Apple music and that's how you get logged in one thing I'll also point out which is a massive improvement in my opinion is we now have this new edition of our music controls over here so where we have you know let it snow let it snow right here you can slide this up and you can see other recent favorites recent albums albums, other sources. So you can even come in right here and go to your Apple Music this way, and then it'll pull up over here. So you have additional controls now. You don't always have to have the bar down here on the middle. So we can now pull this down and have access to our full map and still have controls on music. And I'm so excited to have this all back because these are now cards. So you see this little button right here. When you press that, this is going to pop back up here again. And so you've got the music right there. Of course, we can go like that, like we talked about, but you can also swipe again. We got current drive since last charge and our odometer. Swipe again, we have tire pressures now, right front and center, and yes, the cold weather has brought mine down very low. I need to pump these back up to 42, and as of one hour ago, these are what my PSI were, which is a pretty amazing thing. Swipe to get rid of it. Again, when you swipe down, the little dock icon pops back up. Press it again to see it again. So awesome. Now, the abdominal ones do not have any second ability to swipe up or anything. Uh, let's see, do the PSIs? They don't either. So only the music one does, which is pretty cool. Next up on the list is Zoom meetings. Once again, this requires premium connectivity, or I'm assuming you can do it on Wi-Fi. Once again, we click into our menu options. We see Zoom here. Let's click on Zoom. I'm going to click sign in because I have a pro account. You'll need to type in a one-time verification code the very first time that you do this. And just like that, we are zoomed into my meeting room. Now, the neat thing about this is that if you're in park, if you're actually in park, you will use the internal camera right up on the very top above your, above your mirror here, as well as the audio to communicate. And if you turn your car into drive, you don't actually cut off the meeting, but instead it just will switch to just audio, which is a phenomenal feature that you can still be on a Zoom call, be driving, put it in part to be on video, but if you gotta go, pull off the side of the road, whatever you gotta do, you don't have to actually lose the Zoom call, which is super cool. Let's see if I can set this up with my wife and run a call and see how good this works. So I'm gonna hit the app right here. I'm gonna say, start a meeting. So you see on the left-hand side now, we got participants, we got end call, we have unmute, and we have start video. We got this all going on right here. Now I just had something pop up on the screen that I missed. It looked like it was asking me to enable the video. Let's see if I press any of these. Okay, there's my uh, my car drawing. Okay, and there's the video. So again, this audio would probably be a ton better, the video, if we were in daylight. I'm in my dark garage right now, but you can see the response is pretty good. Um, and again, it's coming from this camera, so I'm a little more off-centered, but that's just fine. Wow, that's cool. And it even puts a little zoom icon up there. Man, this is a game changer for me because I'm on Zoom calls with my agents and people all day long. This is awesome. Let's take a look at the participants. We can see different participants here. Very, very cool. Next up is dog mode. So view the interior camera from the mobile app while using dog mode or sentry mode. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Okay, so let's uh, let's put it in dog mode. So to do that, let's come down here to climate control. Okay, so we got camp, dog, and keep mode okay keep mode is something different we'll talk about another time but we turn on dog mode here climate end screen will stay on after you exit for pets now my car just turned on a lot of noise we can't do anything about that right now but let's go to sentry mode here and take a look at this and again you got to have the ability to have premium data to actually see this i'm going to go into my test lap as i'm doing this another software update just came in which is actually the 44.25.3 but you can see down here it says dog mode enabled live camera let's click on that there you can see it's now showing internal make sure no one is in the car okay so because i'm in the car you're not going to be able to see it so it can tell there's a person here so i you know sit on the seat so i can't actually see it 
We'll check that out a little bit later, but that's where you would see it. So we can now do what's called a scheduled light show, which now you can do up to 10 minutes in advance. You can set it so you can kind of like set it and walk away and then it'll like go crazy and like people are like, what's going on? But there's like no one around. Um, or you can have two set up simultaneously together, it looks like, and um, celebrate New Year's with an AULD Lang uh, Symphony or something show or create long, okay, whatever. Let's go and actually check it out here. So we go to System Launcher Toy Box. So System Launcher, then we're gonna go down here to Toy Box right here. So then we got, uh, let's see, Toy Box. Then we go here to Light Show. We can say Schedule Now. Turn the volume down a little bit here, just because of where I happen to be at the moment in my garage. We can do now, or we can set the time for up to 10 minutes out. And so let's go one minute out, and I'll get outside of my car. Dance moves, moves charge port, mirrors, windows, and trunk. So if we want dance moves to start up, that's what would have to go. But you can't do it in the future because they don't know if you're actually at your car, so you'd have to do it, uh, you know, right there. So we'll we'll have to try that in a minute here. But let's uh, let's confirm this for one minute out. Now, all right, showtime counting down. All right, I'm gonna get out of my car and see what it shows inside of the garage. That was so cool. Okay, and then you open up the door to turn it off again. So what I'll, what I'll do, you guys, is is make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna I'll do a bunch of YouTube shorts on this. I got my I'll take my other tests. So we'll put them both in the driveway, and I'll I'll do a cool light show tonight. Plus, with it snowing out, it'll look pretty cool. So subscribe and make sure that bell's rung so you can see that YouTube short when it comes out here in a minute. Now the next one is how you can control your fan speed without taking it out of auto mode. So when you're adjusting it here, you have auto set right here. You can't adjust it on this simple pane here. If you just tap on it though, when it comes up, you can go medium low or high while it still stays in audio. Before we just had a one through 10 fan, uh, fan speed here. So now you can make that other adjustment, which is like, that's pretty cool. All right, now this next one, I don't have a MyQ connected garage door opener, so I can't show you this, but basically it'll monitor control your garage door remotely using your vehicle's touchscreen and you can set it up. It says your vehicle will automatically recognize all existing garage doors if you already have a MyQ account. So um, log in, uh, which are all, it must be a Wi-Fi garage door system them and then you'll be able to connect them through there. That's so that's kind of neat. Okay, so next up is auto turn signals. It's just one of those little kind of glamorous features that like, hey, is it making a big deal? Uh, probably not, but it's just kind of a nice convenience feature. What it's gonna do is after you do a lane change or a merge and you know you put your blinker on, and again, this is not for full soft drive. This is something totally different. It's already done that. This is your standard car like this is a non full soft drive vehicle. It doesn't have navigating an autopilot or any of that. What it's gonna do though, is once you get in that other turn lane, it's gonna, or other lane or merge or whatever, it's gonna recognize you're not in that lane and then it's gonna automatically turn the signal off. So you can kind of imagine what that looks like. Um, we'll be testing that in future drives down the road. We have another game in here. I would never know how to pronounce this. Mahogan, 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 Mahanong. Anyway, great game. Used to play it all the time as a kid, but new game there. Confirm phone call transfer. So active phone calls from a mobile device connected to the vehicle via Bluetooth will now request confirmation before transferring audio to the vehicle. So this is really great. So let's set this up here and uh, see how this works. So I just texted my wife and I told her to give me a call. So she should be calling me in a minute. And what it should not be doing is transferring directly to the car. It should be going to the phone first is what I'm assuming this means. So there it comes. So let's see what happens here. So if I answer it, hello. Okay, hey, stay on the phone for a second. Okay, so let's see if I want to transfer it to the car. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so I'm clearly misunderstanding how that is. So let's try this again here. So she's gonna call me and this time I'm gonna answer it on the car and see what it does. Okay, so I'm talking to you here and I wanna transfer it back to my phone. Oh, I see, okay, so I'm, let's see. I'm gonna go to iPhone here. So I'm talking here on my iPhone. Now, if I wanna transfer her back to the car, it went back there without confirmation. That was definitely a transfer. So I guess I'll have to mess around with that a little more. Okay, bye honey, and uh, see what that's all about. I did transfer back and forth without any kind of confirmation. I'm not sure if the fact that I don't have some of my contacts synced up, if that makes any difference, but anyway, it's supposed to, I guess, check that. I I'm sure I'm misinterpreting that. I haven't had enough time to spend with it, but we'll spend time with that, and I'll update you guys on that when I know more. So you can now search for contacts inside your contact list. I'm not gonna show you that because I don't wanna show you all my contacts, but just imagine when you go into phone here and you go up here into contacts, you're now gonna be able to actually type in someone's name to search for it versus having to scroll through. So that's the improvement there. We talked about the media controls being over here now, as you're seeing right here. And now the one we've all been waiting for, the emissions testing mode, 
basically being able to fart through the Tesla app. Now watch this. So when I pull up the Tesla app here, what you've got is you've got the new update. And by the way, I'm gonna install this update and just make sure there's nothing new here. Um, in fact, let's tap release notes, which I love that the release notes are now on the car. You can see that it's all the same. So it's just a little um, update that it's gonna do. Maybe there's a flaw or something. Um, in the in the one I have the 25.1 but anyway it's all gonna be the same but what you can do is you can see here that I've actually put the fart or the uh, as they're calling emissions testing in the top right corner so let's just quickly tap it I haven't tapped it yet and see what it does <laughs> that's awesome it actually makes the fart on the screen <laughs> that's so awesome And then always rainbows allows you to drive visually to show rainbow road when autopilot is active. So when you uh, turn on autopilot, you can now make it uh, do the rainbow road. So you go into toy box rainbow road, which, you know, is, let's see, we go into here, we go into toy box and we saw rainbow road on the far side here, right here. So you tap that. Then anytime you go into autopilot, it's just another one of those kind of weird things you can do um, to make your car look you're driving on a rainbow. So, Wow, that's gonna be it for that. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go put this car outside next to my other Model 3 and let's do a synchronized um, orchestra out there for all the neighbors. Well, I had every good intention of showing you guys this, but of course I forgot that my Model 3 does not have this update yet. So until it comes to the full soft drive vehicles, or at least to mine, uh, I guess we'll have to just watch it on my Model Y, non full soft drive. But let me know what your favorite part of this update is. I'll be doing a lot of little YouTube shorts on all the individual parts of this uh, update as I experiment with them and have some fun with them. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of those little fun videos. And again, let me know what down in the comments your favorite part of this update and if you've gotten it yet. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.